Greetings, people of the internet. This is Cardiax, and today I have another video because I'm still doing the daily thing. Um, I had an idea, a different idea than what I originally planned to do today because uh, yesterday I went out with my brother because the plans with my friend kind of fell through. Anyway, I wanted to go to this market that has a whole lot of Asian products. It's mostly a uh, grocery store kind of thing going on, but I found some things that I wanted to try, so I got one of the things are these. And they have little writing on them, each little stick. They're kind of they're kind of like um I know America has similar little containers like this and they're like little biscuit sticks that have like Nutella in a little cup that you can dip the sticks into. <clears throat> Honestly these taste kind of like strawberry pocky but they are a uh, there's like a very slight salty flavor regardless they're good and I started eating them but I was looking at the little words on them because they have little little writing and I thought it was really cute so I am going to attempt drawing some little doodles based on what's on them. Apparently a goat is lucky today. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm going to start with a drawing that came into my mind when I ate one of these. I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop eating them for a minute. So I already ate the one that I saw, but it was <clears throat> This is a very big sketchbook, by the way. It's really old, and I haven't started it yet, so I'm fixing that. Anyway, it was snail. There was a great big space, just an empty space, and it was snail, male, with a question mark. <laughs> and I, I was amused by the question mark and also the phrase, so I'm taking this very literally. So I'm going to draw just a little doodle. There, there's a snail. With um let's see how do I incorporate the male part? Uh I keep thinking the spot here is scratchable, but I think that's like a piece of like wood or something. Anyway, um, let's just do this, I guess. Just pretend that the sack, the male sack, is attached to his shell somehow because that totally wouldn't slow down a snail even more Okay, so there is doodle number one. The sketchbook is so big. Oh my god, it's like 11 inches by 14, and I don't like the gigantic size of it. Anyway. Oh, I pulled, I pulled out the goat one again. Okay. I'll go with it then. Alright, so I'm going to draw a lucky goat. Uh... I'm just going to wing it. I'm not going to use reference for these. Um, let's draw... Dang it. Um, could go with two, either one of two ideas. One would be simply a goat with a, like, uh, four-leaf clover 
collar kind of thing, or maybe a goat, an anthropomorphic goat in a leprechaun outfit. Let's go with like a mixture of the two. Except I don't know how to draw a goat, so I'm just just hoping for the best. Is looking like a cow. Even if I give it a mustache. I'm failing so bad at this. Don't they have like sideways pupils? I don't know. I mean, it's looking somewhat more goat like. I think they have that cleft uh, hoof thing going on. I just want to reiterate I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, good enough. I'm gonna eat this. Move like lob. <laughs> okay. Stag beetle. Love it. <laughs> um. Okay. Go. Hmm. I don't want to look up pictures of beetles because bugs are ugly, so. I'm just going to pretend I know what I'm doing. Isn't that what artists always do? So I'm just going to draw some vaguely uh, bug looking thing. Which apparently can fly. This, would, this thing, if it weren't quite so cartoony, it would probably be my worst nightmare. Let's give it... I think stag beetles are supposed to have like one really long um, antler-like horn thing on their face. So, in the interest of that, let's give this thing a weird-looking nose. <clears throat> and how about a few looking, a few more legs? That are very quick and poorly drawn. Do I want to draw a tail? Um, I'll just, yeah. Okay. So, there's that. Time to munch. It smells like an elephant. Um, what else? What else can I add to this? You know, I'll just, I'll just draw a heart. Just draw a heart on its wing. Why not? Go away, cat. You're being a nuisance. Okay. And let's pretend it has a tongue. I don't know if bugs actually have tongues. But this one will. Because it can. Alright. Take number four. <clears throat> Golden egg. And the rest of it seems scratched off, but this bit right here looks like an egg again. I think it's just this, but scratched out. I don't know. I can do an old golden egg, though. Go away, cat. Let's move that so I can move this over. Um, I'll just... It's apparently cracking open, so... Okay. 
and it will also be shiny because why not that was fast so Fox, beware of lies. All right, then. So, I can do a fox. I like foxes. I can draw a fox. I don't know where to go for with this now. This is a cartoon, so I'm drawing a very uh, an exaggerated uh, body type. Okay, this this part is bad, but. Let's pretend that's not there. And of course a fluffy fox has got to have a fluffy tail. <clears throat> okay. So, this is about to get eaten. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to look at the other ones before I choose the final. There is Squirrel, Your Best Friend, Frog Amphibian, <laughs> Octopus Lucky Number 8, this one again, I'm going to go ahead and eat this, Elephant Jumbo, ah! everything is falling, Bat Only in the Night, Another fox beware of lies, which I'm going to eat now. And another golden egg, which will also be eaten now. The strawberry cream is really good. Biscuit's not bad by itself either. You know what? I think I'm going to do a lightning round. So, bat, only in the night. I can draw bats better than this, but for the sake of making it There's that one. Yoki. <clears throat> There's three so far. Four. Five. Ugh. Six, seven, and uh, eight. Okay. And this is the last one, which I will now finish eating with as much of the strawberry stuff as I can get. I will commence licking the rest of the strawberry out of there, shamelessly, because I'm a child. But yeah, here are all the doodles that I did.
Um, I would like to color them in. Let's go ahead and get started with the shindig, shall we? But I'm not going to think too much about the colors. So this is what I'm using for the squirrel. There's squirrely, and what's the tip I like on this? Yeah. Not thin enough for my liking. Ah, here's this. I'll just use this and hope it goes well. I just, I don't know what squirrels look like exactly, so... Oh, by the way, this is just a uh, Uniball Vision Needle Micro Witch of McCullet pen. Very simple, very cheap, I think, and probably just got it from Walmart a long time ago. It was just sitting on my drawing desk, so, desk, so I decided to use it. Okay, so there's that one. These colors. G99 Olive and G20 Wax White. May have gone slightly too heavy on the choice for my base green, but oh well. This is only a doodle kind of thing. It's nothing important. I just wanted to do something that would make me use my Copics, because I have several but I don't use them as much as I would like. Also, this this frog looks really weird. It's it looks very it looks like it's hallucinating. There's a little bit of a blurt, a uh, a blot. There we go. I like how this frog looks. I may use it for the uh, thumbnail if it looks okay enough on screen. Now G20 for the details. <clears throat> this may have been a fail. I should have gone some something a little more of a light green for the base. All right, there's that. This time I'm gonna go, go light for the base. And the light that is. In general, you are supposed to go light to, to dark, but I was just hurrying too much on the frog. I used to love elephants when I was little. At least that's what my mom told me. God, I haven't used Copics in so long. This will probably be a big difference. Not too bad, I guess. I'm gonna try this one for the bat. And choose something a little lighter for the rest of it. Go with warm gray five, I guess. There's that then. Don't know if it's still visible as a bat.
on the octopus. Let's try these. And hope for the best. Ooh, that's kind of a skin tone. But you know what? I am just gonna go with it. Okay. There's that then. And now for details. So dot 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 dot. Da, da. This is this thing's gonna look so freaking sick. I'm sure it looks like it probably has chicken pox of some kind. <laughs> These little black bits are supposed to be suction cups, by the way. If that's not obvious. Alright then, I guess that's it then. So, one last look. And there you go. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please let me know so that I can do this again sometime. Um, have a nice day, and please like, comment, subscribe and share this video if you liked it enough to do so. Bye!